It is May 10th, 2022. I'm in Savannah, Georgia, and I'm gonna give you some tips on how to find and identify black elderberry plants with the scientific name Sambucus canadensis. This is the same elderberry you see on the $20 bottles of vitamins in the grocery stores that everybody is raving about and claiming to be a superfood. This plant is not a magical cure-all. It will not cure you of COVID-19. It will not cure your cold. It's not magic. It's just a plant that happens to be nutritious. If anybody tries to sell it to you for absurd prices, claiming that it will cure everything that ails you, they are a scammer who just wants your money and is preying on you being scared and sick. Don't fall for it. This plant is native to Georgia and many other states in the United States, and you can find it for free on pretty much any roadside as long as you know what to look for. Like I said, it's May, and this plant can continue to flower into the summer. So, if you see here, I'm standing in front of this plant. All of these giant white things are flowers. Here's, well I don't want to touch this one because there's a spider web behind it, but this flower cluster is as big as my hand. It's white in the center. These are the flowers and then over here is the fruit that is going to form. It's brand new so it's still pale green. As you can see, very giant flowers. So if you're looking for these in early spring and summer, the flowers are what you want to look for. These flowers open starting from the outside in, which is why there's fruit on the outside and then the flowers are further in. The fruit is where the flowers open first and these ones will be pollinated next. Here's a cluster that has been fully pollinated so all that's left is the baby fruit. And there, and there, Here's another one. Most of the ones that are all flowers are still up there. I might be able to pull it down though. Okay, yeah. So here you can see flowers on the outside and then flower buds on the inside. The fruit looks similar to the flower buds but the flower buds will be in the center and the fruit will be on the outside because that is how they open. So that's one way to find it by looking for the giant white flowers. Another way is to look at the leaves. These are leaflets. I can't remember the scientific names, but they come in sections like this and each of the... All right, it's kind of windy, so hold on. I'm just gonna take this off so I can show you. Okay. So here's the shape of the leaves, and they can have more than this on them, but they are serrated. And these are opposite each other on the stems except for at the end where it sticks straight out. So that's one section of the leaf we can look at. Here's a stem that doesn't have any flowers on it, but you can see the shape of those leaflets. Extends all the way down to the bottom. Oh, and this one, you can see some little tiny the very beginnings of a cluster of flowers there at the end. That little round thing, it's gonna be a flower in a week or two, maybe. All right, so if you can recognize the flowers and you can recognize these leaves, you're well on your way to identifying it. Another way is to look at the stem. This plant is very old, so it has a very 
very thick base. It almost kind of looks like a tree down here. But even here you can see the very notable feature for a black elderberry is all of these dots and spots on the stem all the way up if I don't get a leaf in the face. Let me find a thinner one. Well, here's a dead branch that also shows it. But elderberry stems will always have these dark spots on them. And they bump up out of the bark so it gives it a texture. I can't remember what the scientific word for these are. I think it's how the plant breathes, but don't quote me on that. So here's another part of it. So you can see again the spots. And over there. And all the way up here. Let's go over here where there's a younger one. Here's a different plant, but you can see this one again has the giant flowers with the flowers open in the center now and the fruit on the edges. Here's this younger plant, so you can again see it's kind of a grayish brown bark with dark brown spots. And that continues, and even when it's green, like with this stem up here, it still has the spots, and these spots are brown. This is a newer green stem, so they aren't as obvious, but if you look further down the plant, you will find them. And if nothing else, you can look for the leaves. And we can walk over this way, and I will show off the very young plant I just found coming up over here to show you what the brand new ones look like. This is at my apartment building, so unfortunately you can't just come here to get cuttings. Unless you want to buy some from us, of course. Here's another one. So, this one's got all flower buds up here. So these will probably continue to mature as the weeks go by. And they will open first on the edges and then finally the center. You can see again the leaves. These ones are bigger than the ones over there. Okay, kind of windy, but anyways. See on the stem, even when it's green, it still has those spots. And further down, it's the gray-brown with the darker spots. Here's some more. You can see those leaves there. And here's the newest shoot or plant. See the shape of the leaves? And these leaflets emerge opposite each other on the stem like this. That means they're coming out straight across. And they do that all the way up the plant. And again, if you look at the stem, even though it's green, it still has those spots on it. And then if you just look straight back through here, you can see all the older stems, which is this one here with the brown spots, and it goes all the way back there. These ones are old and dead though, so they are not alive. But here's a much younger one coming up next to them. That green one right there, so you can see the leaves. Yep. And this plant is very easy to clone, which might be your best bet of growing one yourself if you can't find seeds to buy, because, let me show off this one. They get extremely tall, so if you're short and don't have access to a ladder, you might not be able to get to any berries that form to get seeds yourself. 
this one we can only reach because there's a hill right here and it's lower down so I can when it's not windy I can reach these flowers here but I would have no hope of reaching the flowers over there unless I want to get a ladder and climb I usually don't recommend cloning plants because growing them from seed is better but at least to start out if you don't have any money to buy seeds or plant online, cloning a wild one is probably your best bet. To do that, you can just, if we're looking at the stem here, cut it off right here, and then remove these two lower leaves and one of these and just keep this section. All right, tree. It's really windy, so it keeps getting pulled away from me. But just remove everything except for this section and then plant that in directly into soil in a container or in the ground somewhere and if you want to help it along you can put a plastic clear dome over it to help contain humidity or use a plastic bag just make sure you water it well and keep it watered well until it starts to grow and establishes roots they root very quickly so you don't really need rooting hormone as long as you keep it humid and keep it watered, it should do fine. I'll show you some of the cuttings we've cloned over here. And here you can, this is not an elderberry, but I want to show it off anyways. This is our wild variegated American pokeweed plant that we found last year. It's growing outside a family dollar with variegated leaves and obviously wouldn't be allowed to continue growing there, so we dug it up and stuck it in this container. It's gonna flower soon, so hopefully we'll get some seeds, and we'll see what those seeds do. I'm making a YouTube video for elderberry. So this here, oh, it's a lizard, I'm sorry. I almost just grabbed that poor green and all. Sorry. Anyways, any more lizards want to jump out? This is one of the ones we've cloned. It's in this pot here. It started out sending that shoot and it's growing all this. So it's ready to be transplanted into a new pot or put in the ground somewhere. So, stick this back. And there's another one down here. This is another one. It was originally growing in a plastic red cup and then I transplanted it to here because it had so many roots it was already root bound. So this one can probably go in the ground or in an even bigger container in a month or so. So you can see the leaves are always the same though they might have different numbers. And all we did for this was just take a piece of stem off Stick it in some dirt and keep it watered, and it'll grow like this. And if we go back over here, you can see from here how those flowers are visible even at a distance. So that is probably your best way of finding them right now, because or at least waiting until they get their fruits. But I think the flowers are more noticeable from a distance than the fruit. The fruit is edible. You have to cook it first, I think. And people use it to make jellies and jams and stuff. None of which I know how to do because we haven't been able to get to any of the fruit because it's too high up. <laughs> it's also great to plant for birds. Oh, well there's one of those feral cats we're trying to catch. Sorry, pretty kitty, come back. All right. But yeah, you do not need to be spending a fortune on elderberry gummies 
that are like $30 a bottle because commercials and people who want your money are telling you that they are the only ones that can cure you. They are not going to cure you and you do not need to spend money on something that you can probably find for free. I'm going to repeat it again. Elderberry is not a magical cure to all that ails you. It's just a plant. It's a very nutritious plant, I'm sure, but it's not going to cure every illness under the sun. Anybody who tells you otherwise is just after your money, so don't fall for it. Hopefully this video helped you figure out how you can identify elderberry, and if you would like to find elderberries near you without having to go out and look for yourself, you can try inaturalist.org that's I-N-A-T-U-R-A-L-I-S-T dot org. It's a website where anybody can post pictures of plants, animals, and mushrooms they found. And it helps scientists and also helps people find what is looking, what they're looking for in their local ecosystem. So if you set it to search for your location, that can be a city, state, or you can just go to the map and select search area in map. Just type in elderberry and look for uh, Sambucus canadensis. Because there's also a European elderberry, but we are talking about the American black elderberry here, not the European one. Which I don't think you'll find in North America anyways. Just search for it and the results should come up and you should be able to find if there are any nearby. But don't be dismayed if you don't see any observations. It might just mean there is some, but nobody's taken pictures of it or posted it to our naturalist. There weren't any pawpaw, well, weren't any small flower pawpaw observations in Savannah, Georgia until I found about 60 of them and posted them. So. Just because they're not on a naturalist doesn't mean they're not there. It just might mean you'll be the first person to post the observations. I also just in general recommend iNaturalist for anybody who likes learning about plants or animals or mushrooms because mushrooms are neither. Because it is a great way to see what is near you and learn how to identify them. So as you can see it's really windy. So. For now, this is the end of the video. Now go out and look for some elderberry and clone some elderberry or if you're tall or have a ladder, hopefully you can collect some fruit later in the season and get some seeds to start growing your own. Do not give the scammers all of your money for freaking elderberry gummies where you only get like 30 in a bottle for $30. This is a plant you can find for free, or you could buy it online for less than $30 and grow yourself. Alright, that is the end of the video. It's May 10th, 2022. Bye-bye.